Hello there in the world of virtual cooking. Melissa Curry, Dream Life Total Wellness. I am coming at you today with an amazing recipe that oh, Scott discovered it and I made it and it was so good. I posted it and I thought the, everybody needs to know how to make these. It's the simplest, most delicious thing in the world. So I want to thank those of you for uh, watching and supporting. Feel free to share my videos and if you have any questions, um, I will get back to you and answer them. So we're going to start out today with um, some preparation work. So on my honey chipotle shrimp tacos, I'll be posting the recipe, but it calls for adobo chili peppers, right? Chili peppers and adobo sauce. And basically what those are, are just um, jalapeno peppers that have been put into this beautiful sauce, right? And so they can be spicy. And so the balance of that is we're gonna be using some honey, right? So that's the base of the sauce for the shrimp. So what I did in preparation, I, I pre-did those. When you're cleaning your shrimp, you wanna make sure that you clean along the little back side of the shrimp because that is where the uh, poop chute is. So you just pull the tail and take the top off and then I rinse them to get rid of any nasty fishy smell. And then I took, I took my new cool tool, I love having cool tools, uh, which is my KitchenAid blender right, and this little attachment, and I put my chipotle peppers and my honey in there, simply put that on top and I blended it up quite beautifully, right. I tried it initially with the little attachment that, uh, emulsifier, but that I was afraid I would make a mess, so that's why I chose that. So I took that and I took the shrimp, the raw shrimp, and I put them in the sauce and they're now marinating in the refrigerator. So I want them to marinate for at least 30 minutes to get the beautiful, delicious, spicy, sweet flavor in there, okay? So then in preparation for the other things, I'm making these, you know, you can ad lib if you don't have things um, in your kitchen that you want to use or that the recipe calls for. The first time I made these, I didn't have cilantro. So I just kind of left things out and used what I had. But so I'm going to start out with the onions. So the recipe calls for lime and, and purple onions. The other day I just had white onions, so that's what I used. And I've already washed my hands, so they're super duper clean. So I'm simply gonna take my purple onion and I'm going to slice it really nice and thin. Now, a lot of like purple colors help aid us in memory retention, okay? Onions are super fantastic for being an anti-inflammatory food, okay? So really, really good for us. So beautiful, nice little slices, okay? So I'm just gonna put those in there. I'm gonna kind of break them apart. And then I'm going to add to that, got my board upside down, so I wanna slide things off here. I'm gonna add to that, there we go, some lemons. So I'm gonna go ahead and do one more of those. So I'm gonna make a little extra. If I have some left over, that's great, right? So I'll put that in there, slice those up kind of rock in the knife getting some nice beautiful thin little slices okay perfect that'll be much easier to slide off since I'm not using the side that has the wedge on it which is made for yes meat okay so we've got those in I'm gonna take my lemon and I'm sure you know this if you roll your lemons you actually get more juice lemons limes oranges so if you're juicing those roll them first cut them right? I'm gonna cut it in half if you call that horizontally, right? Because I got the little end where it hangs from the tree. Then I'm gonna simply take my handy dandy squeezer. You put the flat side down towards the holes, okay? And I'm gonna squeeze the lemon over the top of my purple onions. Okay, so this makes it kind of like, um, just gives it a nice flavor. So I got that going there, okay? Uh, I'm probably gonna put one more lemon in there simply because I used a little more onion than I thought I would so I'm going to put one more little lemon in there this recipe I'm telling you when I made it you know the first time you make something you got to pay attention right you kind of follow there's some people out there in the world that can just make up recipes but you know the first time I make a recipe I follow it and then I then I can add my own things to it but oh that's so nice I'm going to take those Oh, I'm going to use a little bit of smoked salt. I didn't think about that. Let me grab it. So I'll get a little bit of my salt and I'll just put that over the top. 
Give that a nice little toss. Ooh, that's a little hot grill there. I'm gonna cook those onions. <laughs> Got a little toss. And that I'm gonna just kind of set aside. And that beautiful? Kind of just let it do its thing and get some of those nice flavors from the lemon and the onion going and marinating together, okay? So, I'm actually gonna put one more lemon on there. Or lime, I guess it is. Just seeing if you were listening. Those of you out there going, that's not a lemon, Melissa, that's a lime. I'm like, thank goodness you were there to catch that. Okay, so there we go. So those are now marinating, okay? Then the other topper for our taco is going to be, I add, uh, I think, I, this is not on the recipe, but I love peppers and I think it makes a beautiful color. So when I cut my peppers, you can see I've already used this one, I kind of cut it like this because that little white part, right, we don't want to eat because it can be bitter. So I found if I just cut it like that, it makes it easy and it takes that part out. And then you simply lay it down with the skin side towards the blades and you wanna just get some beautiful, nice little slivers. Um, you could use red, you could use yellow, you could use green, but some nice, beautiful peppers. And that will just look pretty when you're building your fish tacos. Now, if I don't use them all, then I've got these beautiful little peppers. My meal prep, I can throw them onto a salad. I can use them to dip in hummus or hummus, depending on where you're from in this country. Okay, there we go. So I've got those beautiful little peppers cut up, ready to put on top. The other day I did some fresh jalapenos. I don't know if I forgot to grab those. Those are really good. Okay. So the red pepper's down and ready to go. And then um, we're gonna use some cabbage. It calls for both purple and green cabbage. Do you guys know the difference between purple and green cabbage? It's the color. One's purple, one's green. <laughs> but anyway, cabbage is really good for us. It's, it's a cheap, inexpensive food. It's a great cancer-fighting food. It's a cruciferous vegetable. So um, cabbage is, is really, 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 Great. You get it on fish tacos a lot. I don't know if you noticed my kind of Mexican look today, but when I was making these shrimp tacos, it reminded me of driving across the border and going to Mexico. So I thought, why not get in the spirit? In fact, I even put some perfume on and my husband walks in the house and he goes, somebody smells good. That was me because there's nobody else here. <laughs> but anyway, so I got the cabbage there. I leave, I always cut towards the core end that the core kind of holds it all together. So I got some beautiful cabbage I'm gonna put in there and that will be a nice topper for the top of our taco. You guys can see that. And then, of course, we wanna have some color. So yes, I'm going to use some purple cabbage. We're just gonna slice it up the same way. Those of you that have a salad master machine are like, why isn't she using her machine? Sometimes I cut things by hand. Sometimes, most of the times I use the machine, but I wanted to show you how you can easily just chop things up because we have a beautiful cutlery set, right? So I'm gonna get a little bowl, okay? And I'll put my purple cabbage in there. And this is coming together quite nicely. You, you build a beautiful kind of a little buffet for people to decorate their tacos with. I find that um, when I'm cooking these days that I can't really, I don't really, I cook like I'm doing a cooking show every time. I get all my food set out and it's all lined up. Um, my husband, Fix It Scott, is painting the house. And one of the things he said is when you're painting the house, the preparation saves a lot of time. I believe it's the same in cooking, right? When you're prepared and you have your ingredients lined out and washed and ready to go, that that makes it really easy as well. Okay, so I've got those vegetables there. I'm simply gonna set this extra pieces of cabbage that I have aside, okay? Always keep a clean space. And then, goodness, I'm gonna make some avocado. Now the other day I did a kind of an easy guacamole. You could do that as well. But avocados are such a great fat. You know, um, we get a lot of fat in our, a lot of good natural fat in our diet. And avocado has about 30 grams of fat. It's good for your skin. Your body loves it. Take the edge of the knife like this. Boop, out comes your little seed. Okay. And then, all I'm gonna do is I'm simply going to hold it and I'm gonna put some beautiful little slices in there. Okay, and I'll just scoop that out with a spoon and that will lay right across the top of our shrimp tacos. Okay, 
Doo -doo -doo. Our friend Paul brought us some fresh fish. My, ha my husband has it marinating. We'll have to do a fish cooking class for you guys. Scott is the master of fish. Always turns out great. So I got my little bowl there and I'm simply going to scoop. Now, you know what? If I was being creative and I wanted to add a little more flavor to my avocado, I could put a lemon or a lime over the top of it. I just happen to have my limes here. So I'm just going to take that and put a little bit, a little squeeze of wine. I'm just going to cut that like so. There we go. And I'm just going to take it and I'm going to squeeze it over the top. And that will also keep it fresh, right, as it's sitting there in the bowl. And then we just take the end of it and we scoop it out. There we go. And we have some beautiful my husband calls them hot avocados. You can ask him why he calls them hot avocados instead of avocados. Okay, there we go. Put that aside. Alrighty then, we're almost ready to cook the shrimp and the, the tacos and we'll be done. I mean, literally I've been going for 12 minutes and that's just because I've been talking, right? So this could be prepped and ready to go really simply. There's the avocado. Okay, so I got that, I got the onions, the avocado. Oh, the crema, let me tell you about the crema. So the original recipe I found called for mayonnaise, but I don't really like mayonnaise. I like the egg, the dairy. I love veganaise. I just think it's got a great flavor. So basically I took a half a cup of this, two tablespoons of water, minced up some garlic, and I put it, and it's been, I just put it in this little squeezer, and it'll just be beautiful. It'll just come over the top. So um, that is the garlic crema for the chipotle honey shrimp. And now we're going to start and we're going to prepare our shrimp. So I've got my skillet here preheating. Let me go and grab the shrimp out of the fridge for you guys, okay? Okay. There we are. Okay, so it's been in there probably about 15 minutes. I probably would have marinated it just a little bit longer, but it looks and smells beautiful. Now, when you look at raw shrimp, you think, oh, that isn't, but you can see I've just got it in there with the chipotle and the honey, and it's kind of doing its thing. It's getting the flavors imbued inside of it. So I'm gonna take my skillet, which I've got preheating. Whenever you're cooking, I always notice I like to test. Yep, it's hot enough. It's definitely sizzling. Now, where we usually make a mistake with shrimp and fish is by overcooking it, right? So, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little bit of oil, not too much, in the bottom there. Then I'm gonna take my tongs, which I got some out. There they are, okay? And I'm just gonna lay them in here. You hear them kind of sizzling a little bit? Nice and hot, that is. Okay. There we go. Three, four. It's gonna be so good. Five, six, seven, eight. Depending on, I like three pieces of shrimp for tacos, so that's eight. So nine, I've got one, two, three, four, five tacos. So five times three is 15, right? So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. These are pretty big, nine. Ten ought to do it. What, ten, five tacos, that's two per taco. So then I just got them going. I'm gonna set these aside and we'll come back to do those later, okay? And it only takes a couple minutes. Now, earlier I accidentally spilled some onion on my grill, so I'm gonna rinse that off. There we go, that came off really easy. Oh my God, I didn't have to wash it, I simply rinsed it. And then what I'm using is instead of tortillas, because they have a lot of carbs in them, I found these, they're cauliflower. This is the same kind of cauliflower pizza I like. So cauliflower, Viva Cauliflower Tortilla. You keep them frozen, and then you simply take your griddle, which is preheated, and I'm just gonna throw them on the griddle. You don't need to put anything on there. And these should nicely cook my tortillas in about, I don't know, a couple minutes per side, right? So my shrimp are going kind of beautifully. Oh, look at that, that's so nice. See, I don't wanna, I don't wanna overcook them. We tend to way overcook our shrimp, but you can see they're kind of not translucent anymore, if you guys can see that. The side difference, that's the raw side, that's the cooked side. Okay, and they're just kind of, ooh, doing their thing. Doesn't take long to cook these, right? They should be done relatively quickly. Okay, so those are looking really good. I might turn them a couple of times. I think I blew, nope, I was like, I think I blew a breaker, but nope, I didn't, okay? 
I'm gonna turn them. <gasps> Coming out really nice. Okay, oh, and they smell amazing. You know, if you, if you think the chipotle is too hot, try to get some of the seeds out because the seeds are what really makes it spicy. But when you do, it balances so nicely when you do the um, honey with it that really it's not that sweet. Now, if you're trying to be keto, you might go, oh my gosh, that honey, that's, I can't have honey. Well, I know that there's a balance to keto and if you add some extra fat, sometimes you can add some sugars and things. You could try using it with sorb instead of honey, but... Um, I, I think that that would taste, that would probably would taste good too. Try it, post it, let me know. Okay, so I've got my shrimp going. I'm gonna turn over my tortillas. Those are coming out quite nice. In fact, those are almost ready. And the shrimp is almost ready too. There's one big boy in there. I'm gonna kind of make sure he's going good. Wow, those turned out. See how fast that is? Like it really doesn't take long at all to cook. That one's kind of big, so I'm gonna turn him on his edge. Oh man those can you guys see those oh my gosh okay so we've got our shrimp done our tortillas are ready I'm gonna cover that for just a minute so it continue to cook and we're really kind of ready to start building a couple of them right so we simply take our tortillas off I would lay my shrimp down on it first. I got my two tortillas there. I'm gonna throw another couple on, see how fast those go. And these I found held up, they hold up amazingly well. Even when you go to put food in them, they don't break. Like sometimes I find that the tortilla, the old style tortillas, like the rice tortillas kind of really break and they're flimsy. But these hold together really nice. So I use them for breakfast burritos, all kinds of things because when we're watching the carbs, my husband and I both lost a bunch of weight. We got rid of it. He lost 30 pounds, I lost 20. And it's been two years, so it's gone. And it's been a lifestyle switch. And so just little shifts, like instead of having flour tortillas, doing these cauliflower tortillas, um, you know, take some of the carbs out and enable us to, you know, I don't know, get into more of a fat burning, leaner way of living, okay? So I've got those going. Oh, I would say those are perfect. So nice. Uh, my shrimp are gorgeous. Okay, so when we build our taco, let's see, I'm gonna pick out a couple of them that I know are complete, and my husband will know exactly when to come in. All right, but so we're gonna take the shrimp, and I'm just gonna make you guys one, just to make sure, okay? Oh, my other two tortillas are good to go as well. I'm gonna throw a third one on there, okay? So I'm just gonna simply take to plate it. I'm gonna put my two shrimp right there in the center, boop, like so. Then I'm going to add in, just sprinkle a little bit of the, I don't know if you can see that, the cabbage over the top. I'm gonna put a little bit of the purple cabbage. You got some nice colors going on there, yeah. Then we're going to use some of the avocado. I'm just gonna lay that there. Hey Scott, you wanna come try these? I got the purple onion sprinkled over that. So that's coming together really nice. And then I'm gonna take the garlic crema and just squeeze it out there. It kind of drips all over. And there we go. We've got our beautiful shrimp chipotle taco. So guys, oh, oh, I forgot one more color piece. Look at that. Oh, see how nice that makes it look? You add just a little sprig of color and you put two of those on a plate, and oh my gosh, not only are they beautiful, they're delicious, they're filling, they're low in fat, they're super healthy, and I can't wait to eat them. So um, send me your pictures, send me your posts. If you have any questions, let me know. We are doing a virtual private customer service um, cooking classes that are free for you, my Salad Master family. And if you have anybody you wanna share me with, we're doing a 90 minute virtual cooking shows that become a private class for you and your friends. And it's a really fun experience. Um, you guys can win some free gifts. So if you're interested at all in um, sharing us with your friends or doing something fun like that, private message me. Go to my Dream Life Total Wellness site, check, click on programs, and underneath there you can read all about the virtual presentations. And um, thanks again for being here. There's our delicious taco. And that's Melissa Curry signing out. Bye for now.